There's been a huge hack of some of the computer systems that run the transnet facilities. Could have a big impact on containers and basically moving stuff around. First picked up, we understand, when truckers battle to get into container terminals. Dennis Hobson is a logistics and pricing analyst at Investec for Business. Dennis, good afternoon to you. How does this problem present itself? How did we first find out what had happened? Afternoon, Stephen. So, initially, we got informed yesterday that there had been a hack on Transnet's uh, IT system. Now, the problem was there was a lot of speculation what had caused this, and um, Transnet themselves weren't quite sure what actually uh, transpired in terms of identifying the issue. Now, the latest is that they have identified the issue, and technicians are actually um, they are actually working on the situation right now. The biggest issue right now is that we can't actually access the port to collect containers, and that is really having a, a big impact on the whole supply chain industry right now. I mean, that must be hugely disruptive. All of this stuff relies on very regular up-to-the-minute information. It relies on certain permissions. It relies, I suppose, on signatures that are signed probably on tablets and cell phones. If you can't access the IT network, then nothing moves. That's, that's correct, Stephen. Right now, there's no real visibility of you know, where containers may be or when vessels may be calling the ports actually at the moment. So I think there's, there's lots of anxiety at the moment for, for importers, especially the ones waiting on, on their stock. Um, we already had the, the delays from last week. And the, in these kind of situations, the, the impact and disruption, it compounds very quickly. So we can expect delays of various uh, various nature of delays um, in the coming weeks as well. So it is very worrying at the moment. Um, if they have now identified the issue, that doesn't mean they've necessarily fixed it. If it's been hacked, we've seen uh, ransomware, we've seen people hacking for money, we've seen people locking up a system and refusing to let the owners back into it. The reason I say all of this is that it could take some time to get it fixed. Yes. The we, we've seen in the past, I mean, if we look at certain shipping lines that have been hacked in the past, they are now assuming that it's actually been a, a cyber attack. It, it does take a lot longer than, than we all expect. Um, there are a lot of complications that come with it, and, and it takes time for, for systems to, to really come back online properly, and a lot of backlogs are created in the interim, which brings about other uh, disruptions too, which they don't, you know, at the time you don't always know. So we can speculate on what might happen, but there will be disruption of various uh, sorts coming in, in, in the coming weeks. Um, this business of, of sort of hacking, I mean, we've seen, you refer to shipping lines, there was a big oil pipeline in the United States, 40% of the uh, oil products that go to the west coast of the U.S. were threatened at one point. Um, people, I understand, have been doing this to hospitals in the U.S. actually. They literally hack into hospital computer systems and hold the managers to ransom. It's become more and more of an issue, and it's a major issue. People have to protect themselves, and that's actually quite difficult to do. You're right. There, there's so many different cyber attacks taking place at any, any uh, one point in time. And for, for companies themselves to, to make sure that they're resilient takes a lot of resources. And these hackers have just got smarter and smarter over time and just found ways to, to actually break through systems. So, you know, it, it's, companies are really investing a lot of money in, in, in the infrastructure around trying to protect their, their systems. Um, the other side is when, when these things do, do take place, there's a lot of panic that takes place. You start thinking worst case scenarios and Right now, we just need to allow you know, Transnet um, the opportunity to, to focus on what they need to do, fix the issues, and everyone will just unfortunately need to be patient right now. Not ideal going into a Friday afternoon and the weekend, but the reality is that they are working around the clock to try and uh, fix this, this IT issue, bring systems online, and the important it was been great recently from last week uh, going into the beginning of this week and clearing out any congestion um, within the ports. So it's really, you know, the whole industry is going to have to work together and be very understanding and, and collaborate uh, very closely together. 
to uh, to get out of this situation because it has an impact on basically the entire country in, in one way or another. Well, I mean, the Road Freight Association in the last half an hour, I think I'm seeing the statement for the first time. They've just issued it. They're dismayed, gravely concerned about the cyber attack, creating massive delays, they say, road front bearing the, the brunt of this. I mean, the trucking industry's had the most terrible two-week period. It's the last thing they need. This will start to knock on in all sorts of ways, as you point out. 100%. I mean, the, the, you really feel for, for the trucking companies out there. They are really unsung heroes. Um, within, especially within the supply chain, and you know, they, they work under extreme uh, pressure as well. So, you know, what we anticipate going forward would be that once you know the systems are back up and running, and, and the truckers can get back into the port to go and collect containers, there's going to be massive demand and pressure on on, on the truckers to actually deliver uh, cargo to to the various uh, warehouses or distribution points, and the clients are really, or importers are really going to be putting pressure, further pressure, everyone wanting their cargo at the same time, for example. They, and they're going to be working day and night to try and, and clear out. I mean, they really do do try their best and, and always go uh, above and beyond to, to deliver cargo in time. They understand the benefits and, and the importance of, of keeping cargo moving as well. So we do, we do expect a lot of pressure um, coming in the next uh, couple of days and weeks. Um, especially in the transport, transport sector. Dennis Hobson, Logistics and Pricing Analyst at Investec for Business. I do appreciate the time. It's Friday afternoon. Thanks very much indeed.